present life or past now from in a wheelchair um but that's there's a woman that's what i'm seeing and i'm seeing a woman in a wheelchair so that might be for somebody here that has passed also sometimes spirit shows me themselves in different ways it doesn't necessarily mean like they were never able to walk again but let's say you went and accompanied someone to the hospital they gave birth and then when you wheel them out of the hospital they're in a wheelchair so i just feel like there is a wheelchair here I'm going to put a pin in this and see if anybody wants to claim this person because I feel like this is actually a person that has passed on and I really wasn't planning on doing mediumship readings today, but I'm going to put a pin. Let's put a pin in this unless somebody recognizes, but they're very strongly here and it's a woman. Okay. Let's see now who, uh, the universe. Um, I know spirit wants to come in and just jump in here, but can we get some like people who are, uh, okay, let's see. And, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. My aunt passed a few weeks ago and she was in a wheelchair. That's Aliyah. All right, Aliyah, I'm going to talk to you then because this woman in the wheelchair is very prevalent here. <sighs> I'm being shown these earrings, Aliyah. Um, I'm not sure if she gifted them to you, you gifted them to her, but I keep seeing that there's something important about these ears or these earrings. Because she keeps pointing at there's some kind of symbolism um, behind these earrings. Something about these earrings make them special. Let's see here. Um, she's giving me some vibes of what is her name? Oh, do do do. A few moments later. She used she was an American horror story. She's a singer. Um, and every time she wears these shawls with these little these little like frills at the bottom and she sings and she's also kind of like a witch. Um, what is her name? A few inches later. Boy, uh, what is her name? This singer, American Horror Story, and she was a witch. And she, what is her name? And she always wears these shawls with the little fringes at the bottom. Uh, does anybody know who I'm talking about? Her songs are... Two hours later. Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom, but who am I to da 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 thunder only happens when it's raining, players only love you and that play one eternity later oh stevie nicks okay stevie nicks is the energy that i'm getting from this aunt and the way i'm seeing that um and mind you symbolism symbolism it's just a story to tell me so that i can give you an interpretation of what i'm capturing thank you everybody for knowing that and i feel terrible for not knowing that <laughs> Uh, but she's giving me this vibe and when I think of Stevie Nicks I think of someone who's grounded I think of someone who is magical I think of someone who is who knows who she is is this is what I want to say about this aunt um so does this sound like her Ali um because that's what I feel like here and maybe she would have maybe even been a black sheep or she may have even been um someone people didn't quite understand altogether but this is the energy and I'm getting a lot of energy fall into me as I say this. So I feel like this is being validated on my end. Okay. She's showing me some keys here, Ali. Um, Ali, she's showing me a set of keys. Keys usually mean movement to me, opening something, um, un unlocking something. People that confirms people definitely didn't quite understand her. And that's because of her, um, her uniqueness, you know. Um, and it's good that she knew who she was though. And in life, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter who understands you. And I feel like this is a message for you coming in literally right now. It doesn't matter because the energy is falling in as, a, as these words come out. It doesn't matter who understands you as, or who knows you as long as you know you. And I see your hands and I see her grabbing your hands and I see her grabbing your hands and placing them on her chest as long as you know you. So I feel like maybe Aaliyah, you've been going through some kind of identity crisis or purpose crisis or um, just trying to figure out life or who you are. 
and I feel like she's here to support you and then let you know that she's always recognized that there's a special quality about you, that there is a spark inside of you. And um, I feel like you really, she really reflects in you uh, that other people may not know this about you, but it's almost like she had this x-ray vision and she could see into you and know you so much more clearly than you may have even recognized that she did. But right now she says, I see your heart and I see your soul and I see you. And there's a lot of emotion lot of like really strong emotion coming in for that um Aliyah so I'm hoping that this serves you um and that you take a, a risk or a chance or take the ride I feel like an adventure is coming up for you um Aliyah and this is all being supported and assisted through your aunt and um yeah I just feel like a lot of adventure I think I'm gonna leave that there for you she did cry when she saw me last and I didn't understand why. I understand. This is why she was crying. This is why she is crying because she knew you and it's like, um, I feel like she could recognize the hurt inside of you that you think you're masking. I'm getting a head, like I'm getting a head nod that you think you're masking and she just recognized that. Um, and your beauty just really touches her. Um, and some part of her inside of her knew that that would be the last time that she would see you in the physical. So I hope this serves you, Aaliyah.